How's it going, beautiful people of Instagram? This is Jose Trujillo coming to you from the art studio here. I'm going to be framing something, and I want to show you guys uh, a little bit of the process of how I frame stuff. <coughs> Sometimes when, when I need to frame stuff, right? <coughs> so, here we go. Hola, people. Hey, can you check if I come out at all? Yeah. Please. I got this really cool frame right here. I don't know if I come out. Which is my beautiful hands. Hi, Farah. Uh, yes, I'm making it so that you come out, but it's more important that the painting come out. I want to come out too. <laughs> Let's start a show here. All right. I think you're in it now. Cool. So I just want to show you guys this awesome type of Baroque style frame. It's very cool. Uh, it's not really Baroque. It's more really cool classical. I don't know, Impressionist? Post-Impressionist <laughs> like, you're like, I don't know, really cool. Really cool classical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's just call We're it just really making cool. up genres now. Yeah, yeah. Really it's, cool classical. Really cool classical is a new, is a new, uh, yeah. Art, art, art school, art period. Yeah. And style. <laughs> Don't so, look it up, folks. Yeah, don't look it up. So I'm going to be framing this. Let's see what... If you guys are able to... Ferris says it's a nice frame. It is. Oh, we love that. that frame. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. I just love the colors on that painting. It's too poppy. It's awesome. Well, it's, there's, there's no such thing as too poppy. It's poppy. I like it. I always feel inspired by the colors that you use because then the next day I'm like, I'm gonna wear that color in the lid. I love that. You're like, this dude inspires me with his craziness. Oh, you know what? It's probably better this way. Anyways, guys, you guys get it. I'm like turning things around here. It's really important that you, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not like I'm building candles here, but that you, that you find a good, way to set it. It matters. In the overall scheme of things, it does matter a lot. So, let me show you a little bit of the process. Did you guys see the little, we got a, we got a new little pooch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was like right here somewhere. Oh yeah? Yeah. So here's some brackets that I use, different types of brackets, depending for the type of job. Just depends on you. Uh, You're getting lots of hearts. Oh Yay. yeah, guys, give me some heart. I live with heart. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that sounds like shark, huh? Like jaws? Like shark? Jaws? Like shark? That's the <laughs> guys. Uh, tell, tell, tell them your my story about 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 not knowing anything about. Uh, uh, pop, culture. pop culture. Yeah, you're like the worst pop culture. Person. I was born in Mexico, you guys. So, so like my pop culture. It's not like there's no pop culture there, but I I don't think I I, I was exposed to a lot of pop culture. It's so weird because you grew up here, so it's like really weird that you don't know any pop culture. Yeah, but you know, I was. I'm an immigrant. We were always working. <laughs> the only thing I remember of my childhood was like. Working, I, I, you know, we were always working. There's something that, you know, I feel blessed and a little, and slightly uh, feel like I missed out on my childhood. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't miss out, but, but yeah, I mean, there was always, there was always something to do. There was always some type of work. So... My pop culture was like, it's time to go to work, dude. <laughs> it was like, but I don't want to see. Like you have like, I love how you talk about lazy weekends because I didn't know what a lazy weekend was till I till I realized that it, till I was like in my twenties and I was getting hangovers, <laughs> going out. Well, it wasn't like a completely lazy weekend, but we did have. 
I'm lazy. I have no idea what that. When I heard your sister and you talk about it, I was like. Oh, my two sisters used to lazy weekend like all the time. Like I didn't know what that was until I was like, ah, like dead from a hangover. I was older. <clears throat> Our weekends were like two shift weekends. So I think they still are, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did my brush go? Did you take the the? the I sure did. Okay. Somewhere around there. Or, Got it. Okay. Got it. So you see, I secure it first with a little bit of metal. Heavy, with a little heavy metal. I was thinking about Symphony of Destruction the other day. <laughs> Symphony of Destruction. <laughs> so, it's uh, about eight pieces total, guys, okay? So, two on each side. You don't have to do more, unless you, unless you really, like, you know, you want to go bananas on it, go ahead. I find that two is, like, perfect. Right? Yeah. Anything more is... And, and you want to be checking uh, if you don't like, for example, this is a very cool frame. I don't always frame it in this. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> so you want to be checking that your, you know, your, your the, the screw's not going through, of course, that there's enough wood under there to have a nice clean job. Did you see that I frame? I put, I'm not, I'm not, it's not like I'm a professional framer, but for the time I've done this already, I think I am. Maybe I shouldn't say I'm not because I think I am. I've talked to a few framer friends and they're like, dude, you frame really well. So, I got this. <laughs> I was watching that movie uh, with Jonah Hill the other day. Uh, yeah. Huh? No, go ahead. That movie, uh, what was it called? War Dogs or something? Oh, yeah. And he had that little laughter. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I like how he laughs. You have more of like a, like a Seth Rogen laughter. Yeah. The girl in Star Wars, remember? She was like, you have like Seth Rogen. I was like, I don't know if that's a compliment. He's got a cheesy giggle. <laughs> he does. Or like the dad from, uh... Family guy or whatever. I think we're boring everyone with our conversation. No, we're not. Parts have stopped. Oh my god. Really? Even though I'm like doing extra extra work, I'm showing you guys what I'm doing here. And I'm telling some awesome life lessons. Life lessons. <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys with just, you know, like one of those e how uh, videos, but this is how you frame a painting. I want to show you guys. I want to be like, show me. Don't show me. Don't show me pictures. Like a lot of, a lot of people just show pictures, or they show like, like the videos. They're, they they do like those cooking channels, or they do something and then they skip to the next part. And then they, I want to show you like the whole raw thing, like right here. Look, bam, bam. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're gonna do. Is it's, wire it. No, we're not gonna wire it. We're gonna we're gonna put a uh what do you call it? Oh a paper backing. Paper backing. Uh, there's different names for that. You're not gonna do the double sided? The double sided tape? Yeah. No, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use um glue. Got it. I like using glue. It expands it. The double sided tape makes it look really nice and clean right from the get-go but uh, when you use glue it expands it like a drum really nice so I'm gonna put glue around it just any any glue guys any you know wood carpenter glue and please if you have any questions if you're like dude this is just talking and he's not saying it well ask me some questions guys if you guys have any questions regarding what I'm doing or how I'm doing it or or you know can I use this instead of that that type of thing check it out not too much in this case like the little hole is not wide enough so I'm trying to get as a good you know amount in there as possible there we go 
and it's just on the edge, but this frame can reinforced with this little corner, uh, MDF corner little panels. So, for the corners, right, to, to make sure that it's, there's a, there's a, the corner stays uh, together, it doesn't expand or whatever, you know, doesn't pull out of, you know, knife. I oh, here it is. I'm like so unprepared. That's what makes it cool. That's what makes it cool. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Uh, while that takes a little drying momento, I'm gonna cut some of this bad boy right here. This is just, you know, this is just roll craft paper, whatever you want to call it. It concaves, right? So it. it, it Goes like this. Make sure that the, 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 the when it's hugging, right? I call it hugging. It's down, okay? And then I just lay it on top like that. And then I tackle one side first, like the top, before I start going bananas and everything, because I want to bring it down, okay? Look at that. A lot of hand. People are like, dude, some of the paintings are kind of expensive. <laughs> the amount of time that yeah. goes into framing and packaging is packaging is insane. I mean, you can have my wife here tell you. It's because I can't. I don't have the heart to just put them in a box and just, you know. Well, you can't. It's artwork. It's got to. And you want to make sure that it arrives intact. Well, so. I mean, buy something from Amazon or somewhere and you'll see that, you know, especially a print, right? Not art. I don't think anybody does that with original art. Well, <laughs> except for we, that one time. We had a couple of incidents, that's just one. But that one. <laughs> yeah, we had someone send something funny. It was too cool for school. I was puzzled for a whole weekend. We were so excited because it was like one of our very first investment pieces that we were so excited to buy. Yeah, because I, I, we collect art here and there, you know, wherever the, whenever we, we see something good that we feel we can afford. And uh, that was a great piece by, by our by prominent artists in, in uh, But he wasn't California. the one selling it, it was someone else. No, he wasn't the one selling it. Oh, no, 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 not at all. It was, it was a reseller. Something like that. Bam! <laughs> See? Guys, give me some corazones. Ask me some questions. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, corazones are hearts, okay? Let me know if you are liking. If you like what you're seeing. If you don't like what you're seeing. If you think that, dude, I've seen this already. I don't like it. You got a bunch of hearts right now. Oh, right? yeah. I like hearts. Mmm. I also got my second, is this second? This is Duke's, huh? This is not third. His second Starbucks of the day. Mm -hmm. There's different ways to, uh, to do this, but you know, this is just one of them. Also, some people were asking me about the frames. There's all kinds of places where you can buy frames. If you're an artist, if you're, you know, there's many places, many resources, just, you know, it's worth the Google. And uh, it depends on your budget. It depends also on where you're at in your in your. Uh, There's a local framer we really enjoy using. We really enjoy using a local the local framers. Oh, sorry about that, guys. There's a the little puppy was like, hey. <laughs> it's going bananas. <laughs> so let me get some. Um, Wire, and then, bam. Also, you can buy uh, wire like this, roll. You know, there's different, there's different things. There's different things you can do. You don't have to use wire. You can use well for this height of pieces. I would recommend, but there's there's different. I'm gonna do some other videos also showing you guys how you can do it with. Um, 
uh, especially for those large, large pieces with a, uh, what's called a French clip. Uh, uh, it's a, uh, how do you call it? It's, it's especially for, for uh, very large, heavy pieces, pieces that you put on the wall. And then they, what? Well, what? Nothing. <laughs> it's a, uh, it, uh, <laughs> I'll show you guys how it's done. It's for, for headboards and whatnot. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. Oh, you did it. No? It's pieces. You corrected yourself. Uh. <laughs> Is, is it heavy? Heavy? Is the frame heavy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a little heavy. This this frame. I, I don't should know. send the rest of her order separate from that one. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want it. You don't want the. You don't want this with the other paintings. So get an exacto knife or or box cutter like this. I usually cut you know the excess yeah. first. And what you want to do is make sure that your blade is brand new. If it's not, get a brand new blade because you don't want to. Um, is that one dull? Or does it feel? It feels a little bit dull. So I'm going to switch it. I'll get you a blade. You want to make sure that you get a, a, a brand new blade because uh, when you're cutting paper. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip it. Did you get oh, me one? I oh. pulled it out already. Okay. Here you can dispose of that one. And we have a special way of disposing them. So that's how you wanna do it guys. Simple and clean. Uh I'm also going to be doing some frames for, for larger pieces, like really large pieces. Uh, some of those contemporary frames, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do those. A lot of people are very interested in those because, uh, well, they're contemporary, you know, they're in, they're in trend. They're in trend, so it interests a lot, of, uh, a lot of artists. It interests me a lot because they look really cool. They, they, uh, the wrenches look really contemporary and slick. And you can do those, you can have those done with a uh, local framer, uh, even even uh, a trusted handyman can do those for you. I'll show you how they're done. They're really cool, very basic, minimalist type of work. Uh, but they, they look, they look very, uh, very contemporary and and show worthy, definitely. You know, definitely show worthy. And especially look really good on the big ones. You know, you start going on those uh, uh, four, five feet paintings, seven feet, seven foot paintings, depending on you know. How big you want it. Even, even for smaller ones, even 30 by 30 inches, they look awesome. Even the little ones look really cool. I've seen some people put them on, you know. They're really like, kind of like floater frames. They're not entirely. Um, they just kind of hug the painting on the sides. They, they look like floater frames. So this is something of what it kind of looks like now. Ooh la la. It looks so pretty. It looks very beautiful. I love it. I always love the way this thing comes out. So now, I'm going to see, okay, this is the part, this is the top. So I'm going to get a pen and I'm going to mark it with a ruler right here. Okay. I'm going to mark about five and a half inches down. Five and a half, because I'm used to it. 
What you want to do is kind of make sure that the hangers are a quarter in, somewhere around a quarter in. You don't want them in the, in the middle, and maybe you don't want them way up here because then you have to make the string very tight. I know some people like doing it with a string very tight, with a wire, but I prefer that for contemporary pieces, meaning frameless pieces or very minimalist frame. This is a more classic, so I want the, I want the frame to, to, uh, to hang a little bit on the wall. The frame is a little bit more classic, because the painting's not, but the frame is. It's just kind of how I roll, you guys. <laughs> as soon as I can open this. Okay. These are the wire hangers. No more wire hangers! <laughs> you a pop culture reference? <laughs> I do a pop culture reference? Yeah. Is that Mommy Dearest? Yeah. No more wire hangers! Is that like the first version of... No, it can't be the first version of... Well, it's based on the true story of Joan Crawford. But it's from the movie Mommy Dear. But it's like a book her daughter wrote. Ooh. Her adopted daughter. Whatever. Anyway. And you want to go slow with this. If you haven't used one of this, make sure you practice somewhere else first. On a piece of board. On a 2x4 or something. And you want to go slow. It has a little number usually, depending on which ones you're using. Don't use number two. Use number one. Slower. Yeah, because like pinching your finger hurts. Well, that and and possibly hurting the frame or the or God forbid the painting, you know. So you want to go very slow. It's 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 uh it's just you just want to go faster than doing it with your hand. It usually does it ten times faster. You don't have to do it twenty times faster. Unless you're proficient with it or whatever. Right. But even then, you know, you want to go, you want to go slow. What's, what's the hurry? Not with this kind of stuff, you know. You want to go slow with this stuff. So here is the wire. Here's the wire hanger. So when, in a heavier piece, make sure you get wire that is for for hanging heavier artwork. Okay, it just depends on. It tells you. I don't know if this one here tells you. It'll tell you the weight. For this pieces, usually for my frame pieces, I have this this wire. It's 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 just heavier. I think it holds like 90 pounds or something. Um, make sure you have that. And get excess wire when you're rolling it. The heavier the, the piece. If you have an even heavier piece, uh, use use two of these, you know, just Wrap it around twice. Why not? It's better to be safe than sorry. Oh, here's another one. Maybe it's too late to say sorry. Huh? Yeah. There you go. You're on a roll. On a roll. Maybe I need some some new clips. So there you go. I try to make sure that there's a little bit of hang, not too tight, because what happens is that you don't want these little things to, to force themselves inwards. You want them to go out in the, in the direction they're at. I don't put them straight, I put them kind of like this. It's not at 45, but at, I guess at 30, maybe 30 degrees, angle. I don't know. Just a little slanted. I don't want to get too technical on this, because I'm not that technical at all. By the way, these are not secrets, guys. This is no, this is no, you know, this is just basic framing, okay? This, uh, I'm sure someone else is talking about it in YouTube, but they're not me. They're not cool like me. <laughs> and they don't have say around, so. So, it's that simple, guys. Check it out. If I can do it, you can do it. I learned how to frame. There you yes, have it. Yes. The name is Jose Trujillo. Bam. I just got my haircut done. Check it out. Mm, looking good. Take care, guys. I hope you guys, uh, mommy dearest. <laughs> I hope you guys had a, had a cool time here checking this out. 
and I will be posting some more stuff soon. Those of you who are watching this uh, later on on, on YouTube, uh, don't get cranky because the video... <laughs> Yeah, video profile. Hit, hit full screen and you'll be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye-bye.